there could be life on Mars after all. After decades of searching for organic compounds on the red planet, scientists have finally been successful. Rock and soil samples taken by NASA's Curiosity rover from an ancient Martian lake bed has yielded organic molecules believed to be 3 billion years old. Organic molecules are chemical compounds that contain carbon. They can come from both living and non-living sources and are the building blocks for all life on Earth. Curiosity's sample analysis on Mars instrument heated the samples to over a thousand degrees Fahrenheit, releasing small hydrocarbons that may be fragments of bigger, more complex molecules. While the organics could have biological sources, NASA says they are just as likely to have merged from geological processes or from a meteor crashing into the planet. Still, the discovery of the molecules sheds light on the planet's history, painting a picture of an ancient Mars that had favorable conditions for life. It likewise spurs on future explorations, with both NASA and the European Space Agency developing new technologies to search for signs of life. Life on Mars? China's Concept Martian Forest City Matt Damon sure could have used one of these concept Mars homes in 2015's The Martian. The concept from the Chinese Space Agency, Tongji University, and Stefano Boedi Architects would see a spaceship ferry a colony of massive pods containing forest cities from Earth toward Mars. Once the pods have touched down on the red planet, in Habitat reports they would use ecosystemic seeds to take root. This colony of forest city giant pods, dubbed New Shanghai, would also reportedly contain an infrastructure and an Earth-like atmosphere. Would you like to live in New Shanghai? Scientists may have discovered water at Mars' equator. If you're looking for another reason to move to Mars, here you go. After re-examining old satellite data from 2002 to 2009 by Mars Odyssey's neutron spectrometer, scientists may have discovered ice around Mars' equator. The neutron spectrometer can't directly detect water, but by measuring neutrons, it can detect hydrogen signature, which could mark the presence of water or other hydrogen-bearing substances. Researchers discovered an unexpected amount of hydrogen around the equator by reducing the blurred, or noise, in Odyssey's data using image reconstruction techniques used for other spacecraft and for medicine. This improved the spatial resolution of the images to 180 miles, from the previous resolution of 320 miles. Having water on Mars could mean that future human missions wouldn't need to bring water with them for drinking, cooling equipment, or watering plants, thus reducing the number of resources needed for transport. Scientists say more research needs to be done and more evidence collected to determine if the signature is actually from water ice. Astronaut deuces could turn into space grub. That tastes like doo-doo. No, really. In the future, astronauts traveling to Mars will need to recycle and reuse as much as possible, including their feces. Researchers are developing a system that uses microbes and human waste to make food for astronauts on long-haul missions. The system introduces microbes into the waste, which then break it down through anaerobic digestion. The methane released during the process is then used to grow the microbe Methylococcus capsulatus, which is used in animal feed and is a good source of protein and fat. According to one of the scientists, it's a bit like Marmite or Vegemite, and grows a lot faster than potatoes and tomatoes. Yeah, but it's your own poo. And have you guys tasted Vegemite before? Mission complete. A team of scientists have finally returned to civilization after completing a NASA-funded isolation experiment to simulate life on Mars. The six-person High Seas Mission 5 crew lived in a dome on the Mars-like landscape of Hawaii's Mauna Loa volcano for eight months. The dome was equipped with a kitchen, bathroom, common area, and six individual bedrooms. Though not confined to the inside, the crew were required to don spacesuits whenever they went outside. While in the habitat, the crew conducted scientific research, equipment testing, and resource tracking. They also had to learn to prepare food using dehydrated and shelf-stable ingredients. Communication with the outside were subject to a delay of 20 minutes, the same amount of time it takes for signals to reach Mars from Earth. To better understand the psychological impacts of a long-term space mission, they were fitted with sensors that gauged their moods and monitored interactions with other members. The mission is the fifth in a series of six studies designed to help NASA select crews that can do well on an expedition to the Red Planet. 
The sixth and final high seas mission will also last for eight months and is slated to begin in January of 2018. NASA's making bumblebee. NASA researchers are working on robot bees. According to new NASA plans for Martian exploration, robot Mars bees would use a rover as a mobile base for operations and charging. They can stay airborne for four to six hours. The space agency says the Mars bee is the size of a bumblebee with a wingspan similar to a cicada. According to NASA, the low Martian gravity reduces the power requirements for generating lift. It's because of this, researchers have incorporated a flapping wing design with a torsional spring to absorb wasted energy. The Mars bees will also be equipped with sensors and wireless devices. They'll use these to further map and sample the red planet, as well as search for methane gas, a key indicator of life, and farts. Martian atmosphere could be used to make oxygen and rocket fuel. Mars may one day be able to sustain a human outpost with the help from the planet's own environment. 96% of the Martian atmosphere is made up of carbon dioxide. Researchers believe this abundant resource, combined with the cold Martian temperature and non-thermal plasma, can produce oxygen and carbon monoxide. Local production of these gases on Mars could, in theory, help sustain an outpost or even colony on the red planet with oxygen, and help with the deeper exploration of the solar system using carbon monoxide as fuel. But that being said, it's all speculation for the moment. So it looks like we won't be joining Matt Damon anytime soon.